Hey there, friends. So th there are times where things just don't work out the, the way you plan them. Uh, usually that's a bad thing. Things come up, you know, life happens, uh, and you just got to go with it. Other times, however, something really good happens, and you got to change plans. And that's, that's what happened today. I had several projects I wanted to get done here in the shop, but uh, an opportunity came up that I just absolutely could not pass up. Normally on Facebook, uh, the, the tools that you see just aren't that great of deals. Uh, sometimes it's more expensive to buy things on, on Facebook Marketplace than it is to buy them brand new. But that's not always the case. So this tool haul came up uh, yesterday and I was able to meet the seller today and pick it up. Uh, I paid $325 for the entire lot, and there's some things on here that that uh, I'm real excited to have. There's some other things in here that I honestly don't know what they are and uh, could use some help from, from the community out there. Uh, so let me know what you think as we're going through this. Drop a, a comment down below. Um, did I pay a fair price? I feel like I paid a fair price. I don't feel like I stole it from the people. Uh, but I think I got a, a good value um, for for my haul here. Uh, but let me know what you think, good or bad. Also, there's a couple of things in here that I don't recognize. And if you know what they are, please chime in and, and let me know. So we're going to go through this one by one, and you can see what I got. So first up is this transitional plane. This is a sergeant. Um by the way, most of these look like they've, they've been used here fairly recently. Um, they're in good shape. This one has a uh, broken tote, but still, um, it's serviceable. A lot of rust. This one needs some cleanup. All right, this is an interesting one here. Um, it's actually got the curved bottom. So it is, I can't make out the maker, but it's a number 24. It's got the curved bottom and rounded iron. Um, so that one, uh, again, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the usage is there, but that, that's a pretty neat one. And also in good shape, got a little bit of rust to clean up, uh, but the body's in good shape. All right, so next up is Stanley number four. Um, again, the, the tote is, is broken. Uh, so you don't get a real firm grip, but it, it's not bad. Um, it is the corrugated bottom. Needs some cleanup here. Um, but overall, it's it's in pretty good shape. Um, and even the, the iron's pretty well done. All the pieces are there, so I'm excited about that. This is the one, though, that I really wanted when I saw the picture. Um, again, the picture didn't give me a whole lot of detail, so I, I kind of took a gamble here. This is a uh, Stanley number five. Okay, a lot of gunk on there. You can tell they oiled it, and the oil's been in there for a long, long time, so it's very sticky and gummy, but no significant rust on this baby. Totes in great shape. Everything is really solid here, so... I'm real excited about tuning this one up and, and getting to use it. So you see four block planes down here. This is the Stanley 220. Okay, so this is one of their older block planes. Um, so I've got the 120, which you've probably seen some videos that, that I really enjoy. Uh, this one is, is not marked. Uh, other than made in the USA, I'm going to have to take it apart and see what's there. Uh, again, just real gunky, um, sticky, so just a lot of cleanup there. Uh, but this is, even though it's not marked as a 220, it looks identical to that Stanley 220. Um, I just probably an off-brand, maybe one made to sell, um, private label or something like that. All right. This one here, Stanley nine and a half. Um, got the adjustable mouth on it. 
Um, again, seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, got the um, lever adjustment. Uh, I think this one's going to clean up very, very nicely and uh, add this to my block plane uh, usage. You know, block planes are something that I've really started to use a lot lately. Okay. All right. Here's another one. This one is a Sergeant. Um, I think I found the name Sergeant. Yeah, Sergeant in there. Um, shoulder plane, I guess you would call it. Open on both sides. Um, again, just kind of gunky. There is no top cap on it. But this top cap came as spare parts. Um, it looks just like the Stanley top cap, so I, I don't know if, if it can be used. It does seem to fit, so who knows? Going to work on that. Stanley tenoning marking gauge. Um, this thing had not has not moved in a while. You can actually see lines where there, the discoloration happens. This thing was set a long time ago and left there. Um, I'm assuming I'm missing some pieces here, um, but the tenons, um, everything does seem to work on it. I, I was looking for a marking gauge, so again, this one, add that to the list. I'm, I'm whoo, again. All right, next up, this is a green field round over. Um, I have to clean it up. I can't really see the, the numbers very well. Um, I can see it, make out the name Greenfield in here. Um, the, the iron itself is very rusty, dirty. So we're gonna have quite a bit of uh, some restoration work there. But uh, again, nice round over plane. Uh, excited about that. Uh, several dividers. You know, interior, exterior dividers. Uh, look at this one. Man, that's a that's a mondo size pair of dividers there. Um, I don't know what I would ever use that for, but uh, certainly not going to pass that up. Um, all right, this one, Stanley Sweetheart two eighty nine. Uh, this is, I'm not familiar with the Stanley 289. I've, I've not heard that. It's its a bullnose rabding plane. Um, obviously, not all the parts are here, but, but that's okay. It looks like the most important ones are. Um, still, really good condition. We've got some rust here that we're going to have to deal with. But again, the oil was put on there and left, and, and it's just, it's pretty gunky. I've got this fence. This came in the bucket of spare parts. There's no markings on it. Um, I'm wondering if it's supposed to go with the as a fence attachment for the the rabbiting plane. Um, it does seem to, to match in, in color and all that, but I just don't know. Of course, I don't have the post to go that goes with it, but have to look into that. Right. Stanley spoke shave and this was a number 53 so um, round bottom spoke shave well I hadn't noticed that before round bottom spoke shave okay all right this was the Stanley Let's see, 151, 151. This, so this is the spoke shave that I really wanted to add to my collection. I've got a couple of modern spoke shaves, uh, but I really wanted this Stanley 151. So very happy to have that. Uh, all right, this, I, I, I'm not 100% sure what this is. Um, I think it's a saw set but I've never actually seen a saw set in person uh, for setting the teeth. Um, I think that's what it is, but uh, hopefully one of you, and I know there's some, some woodworkers out there with a whole lot more experience than me 
on this thing uh, will be able to tell me. But that, that's really what it looks like to me. You know, you can you can move it right, left, left or right. I've got that backwards, um, dead center. So, yep. If you know what that is, please let me know. All right. This one, um, I haven't been able to to read the writing in there. I need to clean it up a little bit more. To me, this looks like a saw file. Um, there, there is a small file in here. There's an opening. Um, again, I've seen these. People like James Wright uh, and others using things like this. Uh, I've never actually seen one in person. Uh, so again, if you know what this is, let me know. Uh, my guess is that it's a saw file for, for filing down the teeth. Okay. This one... I have absolutely no idea what this thing is for. Um, I, I really don't. It, you, we've got that opens up that way. That opens up that way. These are these are almost like knickers. Uh, the knickers that I have on my Stanley 45 is kind of that same shape. So I I just. I am at a complete loss. I, I really need help on that one. So if you know what this is, please, please, please let me know. And same thing for this thing. Um, I don't have, I don't, I have no clue. Absolutely no clue what this thing is. Uh, there's no markings on it. It is from Stanley. That's clearly marked. Um, You know, this, I just, I don't, I'm at a loss. I, I really don't. I have no idea. I, I, I don't even have a, a wild guess. So please help me out there. Also in the bucket, um, lots of card scrapers. Oh, I don't think I showed you this one. Um, so this is a Stanley 80M, Stanley 80M card scraper, not card scraper, cabinet scraper. Same thing, a lot of gunk here. Oil was put on there, never taken off, um, but it's it seems to be in great shape. I got a whole stack of scraper blades. Don't know what I'm ever going to do with all those things. There's, there's no way I could use all these scraper blades. Uh, replacement angled blade. I guess we're cutting for cutting miters. I got a replacement. Um, I don't know what this. This goes for a pretty small plane, but blade and chip breaker. Just a spare blade in there. And a completely intact tote. Don't know what I'm going to do with that, but this may be uh, some of my broken things I can I can replace with that. Last thing is is these these are nice sharp points there, but I, again, clueless, clueless. If you can help me out, I'd appreciate it. So anyway, what do you think? Um, good, bad. Um, $325 is what I paid for it. One last item. I think this is this this is just super cool. I I wasn't expecting that. I think this is like a mini vise. A little mini wooden vise. Just tighten that up. So again, no, no marks on it. I think this is this was homemade. Um, homemade. But I love it. I think I think it's really cool. Anyway, so that's that's what has derailed me today. Um, getting these tools, taking a look at them, going to start cleaning them up. Uh, I'm just, well, I'm really like a kid in, uh, on Christmas Christmas Day here. So let me know what you think. Take care. God bless.